Hello, fellow makers. I'm Joe. And I'm Doug. And we are Bill Botics. Today we're going to hook up the BuildBotic CNC controller to the TIG milling machine, show you how to configure it, and demonstrate it in action. But first, let's talk about the BuildBotic controller and why you would want to use it with the TIG CNC. One of the big reasons is cost. The BuildBotic CNC controller is less than half the price of the controller typically used with the TIG. And you save even more money by not needing to dedicate a PC to the machine. The BuildBotic cabling system makes it easy to set up and you can configure everything from your browser. Oh, and let's not forget, the hardware and software are 100% open source. We've connected the BuildBotix cables to the motors, gamepad, and remote video camera, and plugged in the power supply. Finally, we're hooking up the network. Next, we check the LCD screen for its network address. You can access the controller by entering this address into a browser. Now let's configure the controller. The first step of the configuration is to set the motor parameters. We set the amps, step angle, and steps for revolution, all of which we obtained from the TIG's documentation. Then we configure the maximum velocity, micro-stepping, and set travel limits. The TIG CNC does not come with limit switches, so we are relying on the controller's soft limits to keep us from running the machine past the ends. This works great when configured correctly, but later we'll add limit switches. Now we can home the machine using the manual homing feature and take it for a test drive. The BuildBotix controller's high micro-stepping and S-curve acceleration make movement smooth, fast, and accurate. Now that the machine is set up, we would like to cut something. Hey Doug, what should we cut? How about a BuildBotix logo in aluminum? That sounds great, but let's try it in this chunk of steel. Here's the simulation of our cut in Commodix. Commodix is an open source CNC simulator that we've been developing over the last six years. By clicking this button, we can send the G-code directly to the BuildBotix controller over the network. Now we're ready to set up the cut. First we clamp the stock material into the vise. Then using the USB gamepad, we move the tool to the zero point on the stock and zero the machine. I think we're ready. Let's cut it. First we'll do a facing operation using another Chemotics program. Now we'll run the logo cutting operation. Here's the finished part. Not bad for our first cut in steel. So by combining the BuildBotix CNC controller with the TIG milling machine, we got a very capable CNC machine that is fully open source, costs significantly less, and is easy to set up and use. And this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what this controller can do. That's right, so look out for future videos and head over to our Kickstarter where you can buy your very own BuildBotix CNC controller.